Marissa Beaver, Kara Wasserberger with Sewer Experts. Welcome on the Business Brief. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes. So great, so exciting to have you. Your company, Sewer Experts, is seeing rapid expansion throughout the greater metropolitan area due to increased demand for sewer installation, replacement, repair, and drain cleaning services. How's the business doing and what's behind the growth? Well, the business is doing great and we just feel incredibly grateful. God has opened so many doors for us to be able to expand and to grow in this economy. As you know, Denver is growing rapidly and everyone's just trying to keep up and build more infrastructure to keep up with the growth of the city. And so that has been a huge part in us being able to get more business along with having a different structure in our company to keep us honest, integrable, and to really meet our clients' needs, not just financially, but being able to give a great service, being honest. You know, everything that we do and, and get our business from is really from word of mouth. And so we've been able to sustain that by building good customer relationships, having great reviews on Google, and and just keeping an honest and honest going forward. An honest approach to all of our, all of the work that we do. So it's sure. super that we do that. Marissa, tell us just a little bit more about the business itself. Sewer experts. It's awesome. So we um, do sewer and water, um, both services, um, laterals, and then we do repairs and installation. We also do grease traps and septic systems. Um, we install grease traps. We don't do pumping. I know we get a lot of calls for that, but we don't pump. Um, and so we've just been really blessed to uh, do different types of methods. So we do some trenchless, some pipe bursting, a little bit of pipe hatching, some lining. I know a lot of people call us all the time and say, hey, can you do this new trenchless thing? Well, every job that we, we get a call on, we go out, we investigate and we see, okay, what's the best method? What's the best approach to fixing this sewer line? Not that I don't want to hear back from you, but I want to install a good product so we don't have to go back for a hundred years. So you want, um, get it right? you want to get it right the first exactly, time. Exactly. Get it right now, the first time. Th this seems like a roll up your sleeves and oh, get yeah. your hands dirty type of work. Am, <laughs> I, am I wrong? And, and, no. and, and what, what, why were you motivated to build a business in this sector? No, it is not. You are not wrong. Um, we've both been in the field for about a year and a half. We were the people that answered the phone and actually installed that sewer or fixed that sewer or worked Along on the with our crew, we have an amazing Oh yeah, crew. we have an amazing <laughs> crew, but, but we definitely know um, our, we know our work. Um, I think it's really important as a business owner to know every facet of your company, including being boots on the ground. And we were that for about a year and a half. And I didn't have my lovely nails. We were just hardcore. And um, how I started it and why, you know, kind of why we went into this venture, I was working with another sewer company and I was answering phones. So I was the first line of, you know, I was the first person you spoke to. And just hearing the duress on, um, from the customers and just, you know, they're not calling me because they're trying to get a new car. They're going to get a new house. It's always, it's an emergency. Their sewer is backed up or they can't use their facilities and their children are without water or whatever. And it's, it's just something that I kind of took hold on and just knew that I wanted to be helpful. I didn't want to go in their time of need and, you know, try to upsell them on anything. I wanted to get what needed to be done, done for them in a quick manner. And also, honest. And I yeah. think a lot of people in this industry um, sometimes take advantage of that. And I know that we have set our company up in a better structure. So we don't, we can step away from that. So we can give honest and um, well-rounded estimates. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, it's such a homegrown story, you know, as I think about, you know, what you just said in terms of you started off in the business and the industry answering phones. Uh, now you're running the business. And yes. what what an amazing story. It really shows that, you know, if you're willing to work for it, uh, you can make these things happen for yourself. And as you mentioned, such a blessing. You know, it's Women's History Month, and there's no doubt that your contributions as women entrepreneurs count too. What does it mean to be pioneering a women, woman owned and run company at this moment in our history? Do you want to take care of me? Uh, I'll answer first, and then you can okay, okay. Go back. I'll put you back. <laughs> So it's really interesting. I had this woman client and she was, I think somewhere in her eighties, this was a couple months ago and she had called in and we were talking back and forth. And she said, Hey, you guys are this woman owned company. That's so great. 
back in the day, I was out marching and fighting for the right to do these things, you know, to, to have the rights that we have. And I just said, thank you so much, because I think it's really amazing that we are where we are, because there have been women that have come before us to pave the way so that we can be where we are and do what we do. And so it means a lot to me to be a part of this, to be forging ahead for the generations ahead of us. And Marissa, I think she's gonna talk about her daughter because I think this is just really cool. Yeah, so I have a nine-year-old daughter and I just love the fact, because I always ask her, what do you wanna do with your life? What do you wanna do when you grow up? And she's like, I'm gonna run sewer experts when you're dead. And I'm like, okay, when I'm dead, you can run sewer <laughs> experts. But the fact that my nine-year-old daughter wants to be in the trenches and actually she said she wants to operate. And I love that. I love the fact that she doesn't, there are no boundaries. Um, we're at one of the largest conferences here in um, Indianapolis, and it's called the WET Conference, and it is amazing. We, Kara and I are just walking down these exhibits, and they're just so many different types of methods and different types of tools, and it's kind of funny because we walk in, and it is 99% male-driven. I mean, don't get me wrong, and I think people look at us like, oh, well, you must be the assistants, or, <laughs> and, and still, you know, um, you know, is your boss around? And, and I just want to create, I mean, yes, women have pioneered and it feels really good to be where I'm at, but I want to make sure that, you know, when my daughter comes in the next few years, they're coming to her and saying, how can I help you? You look like you run this business. I don't want her to feel like, you know, what we're feeling today, yeah. <laughs> that um, we're just here to, you know, just look at your product because our boss is going to get it. So, no doubt. Yeah. You, guys are, you guys are breaking ground for sure and breaking through glass ceilings in many respects. I so appreciate hearing that story as a father of uh, two boys and two girls uh, myself. I certainly can appreciate that. And, and as, by the way, someone who's my own mother is my hero, um, I really appreciate uh, hearing your story and, and just know that we all stand on the shoulders of those who've come before us. And clearly your daughter and other women, and for that matter, other men uh, in this industry will stand on your shoulders at some point as well. Marissa Beaver, Kara Wasserberger with Sewer Experts. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. We really appreciate it. Yeah.